There are times when I watch what goes on inside the world and marvel what's the point of trying so difficult, conserving strength, shining the light, and focusing at the ascension path. I know a lot of you've got those moments too. The whole lot appears to be sliding down the aspect of the cliff faster and quicker, and so many humans just don't appear to be aware or observe that there are some huge issues in the world. However then, I am reminded of the strength gaps and how we are seeing the darkish because we are in the light. I'll have a random conversation with someone who desires to speak to me because they observe my light and power and I understand that is what it's all about. One person at a time, one conversation at a time, one light at a time and with millions of people doing this every day, we are a movement to be reckoned with. Ascension is running, and we are on target even if it doesn't constantly feel like it. I are aware of it's difficult to keep moving ahead when we do no longer seem to be making progress however we are. And now, more than ever, we simply need to hold with our ascension journey and not allow the dark's perversions distract us from our soul assignment. Divine respiratory might be a key aspect of bringing the soothing, loving, and recovery hands of God into your lives. As the intense fireplace frequencies and water energy storm through this month's red events and past. Feel the soothing, calming, and grounding nature of sacred respiration. When challenges abound, when triggers have been sprung, when revelations have emerged, and why is hope and faith feel like a far-fetched dream you, as soon as know, find your middle for your sacred breathing. Aware breathing is your truest prosperity, expensive ones, beyond any material riches, beyond any spiritual particles. Past many of the ways that humanity has been conditioned to complicate Creator's love for every precious soul and detail and issue inside this grand creation. Your conscious breathing and your unifying breath with supply is your best wealth of all. That is your divine life pressure, that is where creation starts, that is in which all life begins. And that is in which you may find your pressure, your way down, your worry, your uncertainty, and your anger abate and dissipate within the melting and neutralizing frequencies of a series of single aware breaths, embraced with an open heart. And hearts filled with the energies of divine give up to divine will and conscious reunion once more. You aren't designed presently to realize what's ahead, the grace in developing in leaps and bounds in ascension timelines like this is to allow go of the want and descend. And allow a sacred being to let the sacred and descend in from inside that doesn't recognize the details of all the new this is unfolding but that is aware of all is nicely it the highest realms of awareness, sending this realm with the vibrational frequencies that makes all is well to be true for great sentient being on the earth. In case you trust that everyone is properly, and you have a religion that all is nicely, and you are willing to allow all to be properly, then whatever is unfolding is a part of this grand divine orchestration to make it so that all is holistically, universally, and Christfully, probably for your life experiences. The deeper you may consider and let all to be properly, 
the quicker and more quantumly it can grow to be or enjoy. One of the reasons we do not experience that we make development is that our power is so diluted, spread so thin, and we are so distracted through the dozens of things happening around us that we don't have the lively bandwidth to cognizance on our own power. I recognize what is going on around us is crucial, however, we receive and triumph over it by looking to tackle by every other dozen energy assignments. Alternatively, we need to recognize on what is crucial which is ascending on our own strength area, focusing on our little place within the world. That is about putting our priorities and this is one of the classes in my energy boundaries program. What is the most critical and the reason continually the matters that is screaming the loudest for our interest, although that's what we strive to attend to first. And there was a moment, a lovely precipice in this life, where just a moment before, you were deeply asleep within the matrix, participating inside the matrix of the scissors and turned into real and the only truth you ever knew. Titles, homes, stage, spouses, children, families, desires, dreams, sorrow, illness and health had been all a part of the movie you once belonged to moments before. And then, as though by means of fairy's dust, or perhaps the actual catalyzing occasion, you breath a new oxygen, a new prana, and a new level of sight. And in that transitory and transitional second, you spot something that can be described as seen in and among the timelines. And also you trap a glimpse of a parallel fact that holds for you much higher frequency, a much higher interconnectedness with everyone in each issue. And also you see yourself with all as you witness your observations. This is the first time you begin to see yourself more truly than you have in an extended, long time. And also you in that caught up second of awareness understand the life which you had been playing inside the serpent's fall lead in, that you just fractions of a second before, believed to be true and to be all there is.